Hi everyone, and welcome to this latest video. Uh, in this video, I want to show you a very quick um, tutorial, really, on making one of these little sweet little dashboards. So, essentially, it's a. Um, I'll take it apart in a moment, but it's a little screen inside a 3D printed housing. Uh, links are in the description for where to get the screen from and the files for the housing. Um, I'm also offering them on my website just because uh, I'm so pleased with it and it's so cheap. Um, and I know there's not that not everyone's got the ability to um, 3D print. Plus, uh, there is although the screens are super cheap, uh, there is potentially some. Um, fairly hefty import charges um, that we can sort of circumvent to some degree if um, if I buy them in volume and sell them on. Um, it shares the import duties out over a larger number of units. Okay, so what this is, is a Vocor screen. It's a touch screen. Um, it's supposed to be used on a little coin-sized Linux computer. Um, but SimHub have recently added uh, like compatibility with the um, with this screen, um, so now we can make use of it um, as a sim racing dash. Making or using it is like really straightforward. Um, but just while SimHub starts up, let's take the opportunity to show you what the screen actually. But how it actually comes. Um, so there it is. Not much more than just the screen. This little bit of electronics where the USB cable fits. And I've added a double sided sticky pad there just so the USB cable is fit nice and firmly. My design of housing, very simple, flat front so that you get a decent finish on the visible bit of it. And then a little recess for the screen to sit in and some mounting bosses just so that you've got something to screw in. To screw in. I've put this little blob on the back here just to apply an, enough pressure to the back of the screen just to make sure that it stays firm and doesn't fall in and out of the recess. These two mounts here are the Fanatec pitch, so you can fit them on the front of the Fanatec motor. Uh, or on my little midge mount that I do um, for the OSWs and the Simicube stuff. Um, and I've chosen to use some button heads going through from the back so that you don't have any uh, visible fixings in the front. So all you need to do to get this working as a sim, uh, hub, uh, as a sim hub dash is to download the driver which there's a link in the description for. Download the latest version of SimHub because uh, that's the one that's got the compatibility with this particular type of screen in. And then in a second I will switch over to show you what settings we need to change in uh, SimHub to get it working. Okay, so we open SimHub and we go to Dash Studio and up the top here we'll see Vocal. So if we go to Vocal and it'll say searching device. So it's not going to find the device at the moment because I haven't installed the um, device driver. A bit of a mistake. But if we go 
here. V to touch Win64. Extract files. So scroll down to where the driver is and install driver. screen and plug it back in. We should now find it. Try restarting SimHub. See it's now connected. Go back to dashboards and select one of the standard dashes. In this case, it's the last one I used. If we go start and on vocal screen, it will give me the display. See, it's upside down. So we can go back to uh, Dash Studio in SimHub and click Flip Display 180 and display goes back over the correct way. Now when you run the game, Dish Dash will um, display your uh, telemetry. If you touch the screen it flips between um, dashboards that are part of that um, design. So we can have a look at some other dashes, dash styles. It's quite cool. If you haven't, um, if you want the leaderboard, for example, there's a cool leaderboard. Another one I quite like. Probably my favourite is the Ford GT one. So okay, that's um, that's all there is to it. It's very very simple. Total cost less than ninety pounds. Um, with all the postage and 3D print material and stuff um, really impressed with it, I think the display is great so anyway thanks for watching the video I hope you found it useful, if you did please um, click the like button and obviously subscribe to the channel if, you, if you'd like to so that um, gives me encouragement to do other videos of a similar nature so until the next video, thanks very much for watching.